Good morning, it is Thursday. We're getting everyone, well, most of the kids are up. We are getting ready to head out for school. It is our last day before Easter break, so I'm going to drop the girls off, we're gonna come back home, and then I'm gonna be going back because I actually signed up to be a parent volunteer for my daughter's classroom, so I'm gonna be there for that, and then they also have their art and science fair is after in the afternoon, and that will finish out the school day. So I am gonna try to be productive while I'm home this morning. It's kind of gloomy right now, but the weather says it's supposed to be in the 80s today, which is kind of crazy. It's hard to believe right now, but that's what they say. And then it's supposed to rain later, so I don't know if it's just gonna be like hot and humid. We'll see how the day goes, but we're gonna get heading out to school now. So I've still been enjoying making this sort of like spiced coffee. I put cinnamon, turmeric, and ginger. I just do a quarter teaspoon of each, and then my heavy cream. And it's really, it's so good. The ginger and the cinnamon pair really well together. It gives it just like a little extra spice. The turmeric, I feel like I don't taste at all, but I know it's good for you. It's good to pair turmeric and ginger to get benefits from it. You even can pair turmeric and black pepper, which I have done in my coffee once, but it was a little too, too spiced for me. And then working on eggs, I'll probably have it with my avocado, which I pretty much have almost every single day. <laughs> Alright, boys are gonna play outside. I'm actually gonna try to fix this purse that I have uh, that I got at the thrift store. It was missing a little closure, some, some, something to go there. So I found a little brown button that I just had on hand and I tested it and it does fit through that opening, but it's not it's so small that it's gonna like pull right out. And it actually already has a little blue dot there, which basically is the center of that. So I'm just going to try to sew that on and hopefully that'll work. Well, that was kind of a fail. I broke my needle because I thought I could get it through these holes, but it's actually really, really tight. So I have to get a new one inside. What did you make? What's that? Mulch leaves and greens. Mulch leaves and greens? <laughs> Looks delicious. back inside we had a nice morning just playing out in the beautiful air it was a little chilly and it's definitely getting warmer definitely feeling the temperatures rising and now the kids are just having a little snack and I'm gonna get them to some dry clothes because it's pretty wet in the grass this morning and we only have like an hour before we're gonna go head back to the school so I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of editing done and get that out of the way um, otherwise I'm I don't know, there's gonna be food there, so I'm not really gonna to worry too much about like a big lunch, because we kinda of had like breakfast not that long ago, and then now they're having a couple snacks, applesauce and something else. Um, so we're just gonna do that. They'll have some snacks there. I have to bring my yogurt, <laughs> yogurts with me. So it's gonna be a fun kinda of last day of school before their Easter break. <laughs> Science fair was so cute. It's a science and art fair, but Jude did not nap that whole time, so he definitely passed out. He's down for a very late nap, but I already knew that was going to happen. But it is, again, beautiful outside. It's 80 degrees, so the other kids are playing outside, enjoying this. It's also really windy, so I think it might rain later. It's probably why it got really hot. But we are having quiet time, basically. I mean, I'm having quiet time inside and I am gonna finish my video. I edited most of it earlier, so I'm gonna wrap that up. 
and I'm actually warming up the very last of that soup that I've had for days now. There was just a little bit left because I had an early lunch before we left, but I'm kind of hungry now. Dinner's not going to be for a couple hours, so I'm just going to eat that. And I got an iced coffee, but I'm just going to enjoy the quiet inside, finish editing, and then I'll have to start on dinner in a little bit. All right, I'm done editing and I have a little bit of time before dinner, so I'm just kind of pulling out the potential Easter outfits for the kids. Uh, the girls are probably going to wear these. It really depends on the weather because it is sleeveless, but they're long, so that'll keep them warmer. And they have the matching ones, which is adorable. But they also have the other ones, and they have a few options that aren't matching, but... I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the one they wanted. Anyway, so the boys, I think we're gonna go with these. We're gonna go with like a green and blue, I guess, theme, because that's what we have. This one, I have to try on Jude to make sure it fits him. He also had this cute orangey colored one, which could look cute with that, but I don't really have a shirt for Luke that really matches. Again, I'm not like crazy about things having to match. But if I could make it happen, I will, you know. If we can find some things that match, we'll do that. And then for Dan, again, a short sleeve option. He can pick out whatever he wants to wear. This is, I don't tell him what to wear. And honestly, sometimes if he sees that I'm coordinating the kids, he'll say like, oh, do you want me to wear something that looks nice too? So just a suggestion. He does not have to, I don't pick out his clothes. But a long sleeve option, short sleeve option, would look nice and coordinate should he des decide to wear it and um, it's warm enough that a short sleeve makes sense. So that just leaves me needing a dress to wear and again it really depends on the weather because I have some good long sleeve options. I obviously I have like all of my long sleeve ones that I've been wearing all like winter long. This is a cute one that I really like. It's not really all that blue or green. I guess it's got it's got some green in it. And then I have like this long green one that is sleeveless. That could be a good option. Uh, that could look cute. And then I also have this one, but it's short, like shorter, you know, knee length, I should say. So I really like that one too. I have also some dresses in my bins up here that I haven't even pulled out yet because they're not you know it just hasn't been warm enough but that could look nice the green could look nice with that but also this blue I mean it has some pink in it but nothing else I guess it says kind of pink the the tone of blue is much darker so I think the green just looks better with everyone else so maybe that'll be the one I go to again if it's warm enough that I can do like a flutter sleeve which is basically the same sleeve that they would have so that could look really cute I love this dress this was from Walmart last year I thought it was such a beautiful like unexpectedly high quality dress from Walmart I adore the print on it the block print it has pockets it has a tie for the waist just just a favorite so that could be cute. Okay, that took five seconds. <laughs> as far as like pants for the boys, I think they, I'm not quite sure if they're gonna match. One might be khakis, one might do like a dark blue pant. I don't know if they have matching pants. Dan will probably wear khakis, so we'll see what they wind up doing. And then shoes. I don't actually really have shoes for the girls. I mean, I have sandals and seriously, kids shoes. <laughs> I feel so frustrated by kids' shoes because when I pay more money for them thinking they're gonna last, they really don't. And it's funny because I was just listening to Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. She has a, a podcast and she was just talking about this with someone else that you want to make like wise decisions, you wanna buy quality, but then we sometimes comes with a higher price tag and the quality is not even necessarily any better like when we went shoe shopping before school thinking like okay these are the shoes you're gonna have all all school year there's no chance they barely made it to Christmas and they were done for so I really don't think I have anything other than sandals so I'm gonna have to go through 
make sure that I don't have anything that I could use and then maybe I'll have to buy some. All right, just working on dinner now. It's 5.30, we're doing tacos. I'm just working, can't really see. Um, cooking the meat and some peppers and onions. I have a bunch of avocados that are really ripe and some cilantro, cheese, sour cream, and hard shells, which we've been doing a lot more lately. We used to use only soft ever, and we just really like the hard, crunchy shells lately. So that's what we're gonna do. So we should be eating in about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes or so. I have one load of laundry that I need to fold. I just did one load today, and my video is ready for tomorrow, so we're, we are, are in good shape. I've just been like tidying the kitchen as I go so that maybe after dinner we'll go outside or something. I don't know. It might actually rain. I think I said that. But it's not as windy as it was before. So we shall see. All right. We're going to sit down and have tacos. We also have a little bit of pasta. Got all our toppings. And then the lemonade that Evie made. All right. Dinner's done. And I've been enjoying having peppermint tea in the evenings after dinner, especially when it's been hot these few days, I make it iced and it's really refreshing. And also I think mint is good with, for digestion. I think I've heard that. And this one is peppermint, which honestly isn't my absolute favorite. I had one at a friend's house that was like a, a mix of a couple different mints or maybe it was peppermint and spearmint or something. But this is one I have, so I'm just gonna use it. So I've been sipping on that. I just brew it hot and then I try to do it early so that it has time to cool down and then I just put it over ice. So I'm going to sip on that while I clean up the kitchen. I'm also, I took all the chairs away. I want to mop the dining room. Um, I just swept. Sometimes I like to sweep and then I'll do a vacuum and then I mop. I feel like that just gets all the crumbs and then gets it nice and clean. With the sun setting your eyes couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind You couldn't help but notice me Staring with that awkward smile From the other side of Thompson Street I felt love for a little while Cause you looked Beautiful in the sunset glow, in that sunset glow. You All right, dining room's clean, and then we just tackled the kitchen, got it pretty clean <laughs> for the most part. Uh, dishwasher's going, and I gotta wash this rag, but I am just about done with my iced tea. It is so hot in the house, but we're not quite ready to put the AC on yet, so. I'm gonna hop in the shower, which will cool me down. We're gonna sit by an open window. Dan actually was gonna have something to do tonight and it got canceled. So we're kinda excited about that. So we're gonna maybe, I don't know, watch something maybe and just chill, kids are all in bed. And that's gonna be it for this vlog. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow, bye.